so we are going to start a sofa today this is the image what we are going to create so basically this is a fabric sofa so let's start with this one I will take a plane and uh, we'll try to import the image and uh, I hope this is not in the center so we'll try to make this one zero to all the axis and then we'll go for moving this one to origin and then move it back so that we can work uh, in inside the grid Okay, so then we can go for one box and uh, we have the dimension so first we will go for the perfect dimension how much size we want so I will take this box as a dimension as a reference and uh, my size is in centimeter so we can change this unit from meter to centimeter okay. and uh, we have the height 87 centimeter width 185 centimeter and depth 84 centimeter so I will try to match that unit So the real size is very small as compared to the image. So what I am going to do is scale the image down. And we should keep the image in the center. So we can move the object as well. And now somehow width is matching. So I think we should not move the image, image we should keep it down, so I will say undo, let's move the object down, so this is the proper volume like width wise, height wise and depth wise our object should be inside this one. So I will just rename this one as a dim style like dimension make it a copy of same size and we can start doing the modeling So the duplicate one will be the one of the part. Let's say this one is back side of the sofa. Then I will duplicate another <coughs> for the bottom. And let's give some detail. We'll select the face, extrude and match the width. 
for the roundness <coughs> We will put some segment. Let's connect here. And I guess some detail is there. So let's add some segment. So I'm going to create the 50% of the part. So let's put one segment in the center and uh, rest of the 50 percent will select the poly and delete it So sofa is not flat, it's having some roundness. So we need few more segment. So let's add two segment in the center. Select the vertex, move it up and you'll get the roundness. So for the question part, we'll select <coughs> the polygon and we'll make a copy and maybe we can hide it. We'll do that one later on. So I will add few, uh, I think we no need to add. Just select the same two segments. Let me check which side is front so this is the front direction now go to perspective again select the center to and move this one out so i guess we can get more roundness something like this now we can go for the question part first we will delete the segment and fill the cap fill with cap after that we can maintain the size and uh, we will add some segment from all the direction
and try to move up for the softness part <coughs> and uh, for making that round we'll add turbo smooth bottom should be flat i guess so i'm adding one more segment in the bottom and after dividing and then convert into polygon we will get more segment now so that wrinkle detail we can create through this one so bottom we have the required face but in the top we don't have so i will add the segment manually and then i will select both of them and try to duplicate this thing so that we can create that outer ring part which is given in the image so i can hold shift and scale to make a copy and make as a separate object and after adding the turbo smooth you can see we will get the detail for the thickness select the border and extrude inside and then add the turbo smooth Add the smooth add cushion as well, and then it will look good. So I am adding some segment, and uh, we will increase the iteration as well. It's not looking that much smooth. And for the wrinkle, I will insert here one time, one time, and one more time. So I will go for the bevel with normal, so that it will go perpendicular inside. and i think we'll get the wrinkle part similar wrinkle we have in the center of the sofa in the front side for that also we can insert in the middle chamfer it and we can repeat the same process like insert and this time i will go for outside i feel it's going outside in the image okay so now let's go for the back side back side is having some curve so i will add few segments and try to match so far outline some roundness is there
I think we should not move outside otherwise it will go outside of the scale unit so better to select the side and push inside So now I guess we should go for the detailing. We have lots of pinches hole inside the sofa. For that we should go for equal interval of segment. and try to mind the gapping like it should not look small boxes or bigger boxes so like how much gap we have in the image we'll try to do that one so it's not like too too much points should we should have so i guess six or seven segments should be enough in the center let's select those alt l for loop and then we will go for chamfer and i guess the op technique we use in lower sofa we'll use that one only we'll select the face and we'll go for insert let's go for the another horizontal wise so i think we should select one by one like first we'll go for horizontal and then we'll go for vertical so once at a time don't select horizontal and vertical at the same time and go for insert and manually i will deselect the back side one because uh, i think back side we don't have any detail only we need front side face and then push back and we'll get the depth same thing we'll do it for other side
now we have nice wrinkle but we required some pinches for that i think we should go for center we don't need this much uh, four or five faces we need act only center one so i will click manually one by one to select only the center face and then let's push inside Somehow these boxes are looking very hard. So for soften this thing, what I will do, I will I will select all this center face, and uh, will select this. change the pivot point on the object and then scale it the segments will have some gap and due to that it will give you nice smoothness it means the turbo is smooth some pinches I can see here on the side we have to solve manually so let's select those things
I guess we have to do it manually uh, all side we cannot do it at the same time so let's select one by one and move it and we'll get the nice detail okay let's go for the leg part we will take a cylinder here and match the radius and for that taper thing we have the taper modifier let's add it and then i think before copy we should go for corner details adding some segment so let's add it manually add some connect And now the sofa is done.